on 10 tonight, local thieves caught in the act. A car vandalized, four tires stolen. A very unpleasant wake-up call for a North Providence man. All right, but tonight he's hoping that the surveillance video cracks the case. NBC 10 Sierra Putman is live in the studio now with the exclusive Sierra. Well, based on this video, these might have been professional thieves. A group of five men stole those four tires and rims in just 11 minutes. Corey Rodriguez headed out for work just like normal Thursday, but what he saw was not ordinary. I just can't believe it. Like, I thought it was like a dream. Like, it's like a joke. Sadly for Rodriguez, this was no joke. It's like your baby. You, you take care of it. You do everything. And it's just, it just sucks to actually have somebody just come and take, just take what's not theirs. And His car on cinder blocks. My, the first thing that goes to my mind is how am I going to get to work? That's the thing. And then it, then it starts hitting you like they stole your wheels. You know what I mean? I'm surprised they didn't steal the car, too. Based on this home surveillance video, Rodriguez thinks his car was being stalked. He has video of these cars driving down his dead-end street. They come down, they slow down by the driveway, and they look inside the driveway, and no car, my car truck wasn't there. So they left, and then came back um, flying up the street fast. Overnight while he slept, they came back for the wheels, rims and all. It seems like these guys were professionals with a plan. They hid behind this tree, then they went through the bushes to this camera, which they quickly knocked down, thinking it would give them enough time to steal the tires unseen, not realizing there is another camera watching. Just watch as the thieves work together as a well-oiled machine so they can roll the tires away. One, two, then a few more minutes before taking three and four. It only took 11 minutes. So easy for them. It's like it's like their full-time job. Like. It's a plan Rodriguez thinks they've executed before. North Providence police tell NBC10 there have been other tire thefts in the Fruit Hill neighborhood this week. It's just you work hard for everything that you get, and they just they come and take it. But he wants all his neighbors to know, so his story and this video can be a warning and tool to catch the crooks. And Rodriguez says that these also damaged the body of his car. That damage, plus the tires and rims, means he's out of about $5,000. Sierra Putman, NBC 10 News. Sierra, thank you. New details at 6.